I'm Source Make, and this video is going to be the Hyperledger Fabric Getting Started Tutorial and Installation Guide. And in this simple video, we are going to go over what Hyperledger Fabric is, and we're going to go over some key points about Fabric. And then we're going to build our very first network by installing what we need for Fabric. And it's going to be where we set up an Ubuntu 16 virtual machine, which is going to be our development environment. And we're going to install the Fabric prerequisites, which are just a bunch of programming languages and command line things that we're going to need. And it's going to be really simple, actually, because we're using Ubuntu and it's just going to be copy and pasting some simple stuff. And then we are going to download some sample fabric templates that have been built for us by some developers. And once we have those, we're just going to run them to make sure that our fabric network can run. And it's basically like a hello world thing to make sure that fabric works on our machine. So all of these resources are going to be here on my website if you need them. The link to this web page is going to be below this video. Below this video, you're going to find a URL. You're just going to click it and you're going to get to this page and you're going to follow along and try this yourself after you watch me do it. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel because I'm making content like this all the time. Thanks. So let's get started. Hyperledger is an organization that is supported by the open source community and what they do is they build a bunch of blockchain related tools. So Hyperledger isn't new to us. We've already done a blog post on Hyperledger Aroha. So if you want to see that, there'll be a link right here. And if you're completely new to, new to blockchain, then we have this blog post last video on blockchain explained with 10 simple questions. So these resources are right here. If you're completely new, just follow them and you can get started here. But in this video, we are going to talk about Hyperledger Fabric. So what is Hyperledger Fabric? Hyperledger Fabric is a permission distributed ledger, ledger technology. And basically what this means is let's say we want to create our very own blockchain, which means we don't want to piggyback off of Ethereum or some already existing blockchain. Well, how do we do it? Well, we can use Hyperledger Fabric to set up our very own blockchain network, and then we can deploy it out into the world. So here are some key points about Fabric that we need to know before getting started that is going to let us know why Fabric is really special. So Fabric is modular, which means that you can choose what aspects you want for your particular blockchain network. So for example, the consensus protocol, the database management service, which is what is actually going to store the blocks in the blockchain, and the ordering service, which is going to decide which transactions get bigger priority in the blockchain. All of those can be configured with Fabric. The second point about Fabric is that smart contracts can be written in some of the popular programming languages such as Java, Go, and Node.js. And this is really cool because for Ethereum, you can only really write your smart contracts in the Solidity programming language. But with Fabric, you can use all of these, which is really cool to get developer support. They don't need to learn a new programming language. You can just use the popular ones. The third point is that the Fabric blockchain is permissioned, which means that only invited people can participate and view the blockchain, which is cool. Maybe you don't want other people seeing your blockchain. You don't want it to be public. That's exactly why permissioned blockchains exist. And the first, fourth point is that you don't need a cryptocurrency for the mining of blocks. So the whole way blockchain works is that to actually do these computations, people have to mine blocks to actually get things working. So like to actually evaluate smart contracts, people need to devote their computers to do computations. And you don't necessarily need a cryptocurrency to do that for Fabric. You don't like, for example, Ether is what you would reward miners in Ethereum. You don't necessarily need to do that for Fabric, which is pretty cool because maybe I want to host a blockchain, but I don't want the people on my blockchain to actually worry about paying money to deploy their smart contracts well you don't need to do that with fabric you can set up your own system so that's why fabric is really cool and with that said we are going to build our very first network so this is going to be the technical part of the tutorial and it's going to be a little not really involved it's going to be super simple and if you want to just do this yourself, then you can go ahead and get to this web page and, you know, just copy and paste this and follow along. But you're going to see me do this with you right now. So we all know what's going on. So I installed an Ubuntu 16 virtual machine. You can see that it says installation is complete. I didn't do anything. All I did was install it. And we're going to do this together. And I recommend Ubuntu because it makes things really simple. You can see, and it's restarting right now, the virtual machine. You can see that there is just a bunch of things that we need to get Fabric like really up and, and make sure we have all the dependencies. And we need curl, docker, docker compose, go, node.js, and npm, python, and a few environment variables need to be set. 
And in Windows and Mac, this might be a little bit more complicated to get all of these installed. But with Ubuntu, all you really have to do is copy these commands into your terminal and just you know paste them, make sure they run, and it, it's really nice, which is why we're going to do it like that in this tutorial. Okay, so our machine loaded up, sorry for the pause there, but what we're going to do is we're gonna open Firefox right now and we're gonna to get to the web page that we need to get to to copy these commands. So it's sourcemake.com slash home slash fabric, I believe is what I named it. And we're just gonna move this over a little bit to make it a little more presentable. We don't need it that big and we can get rid of this. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to scroll down to these commands. And we're going to copy and paste these commands into our Ubuntu terminal. We're just going to open the documents folder and we're going to press open in terminal. This opens up a terminal for us, a command line. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy each one of these lines and paste them in, press enter. It's that simple. So I'm going to type password because that's actually my password. And if it asks, do you want to continue? Yes or no, type Y and press enter and that's it. So we're going to do this for all of these and this is going to be really simple to install all of the commands that we need. You saw curl installed just like that. And now we're going to install go and I'm going to press Y and I'm just going to do this for all of these commands. It's going to be too boring to do on screen. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to install all of these. I'm not going to do anything special. Just install each one of these, copy and paste. You see the process and we will be back in a second. Okay, so I finished copying and pasting all of these commands and that sudo apt-get upgrade command takes a little bit of time. I'm just giving you fair warning. So with that, all of the prerequisites are done. We have everything set up for our Fabric ecosystem. What we want to do now is we want to download the samples of Fabric that the developers have set up for us so that we can easily get started. So we're going to copy this command in to download that and you can see that this folder got downloaded a little bit and it's downloading right now. This is going to take a little bit of time so I'm going to pause the video here too so I will be right back when this download finishes. Okay so the download is complete. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the permissions because you see this little lock here that means it's owned by the super user but we want to be able to access it with our own account so we're just going to change the permissions there and now we have the samples downloaded. Easy. So what we want to do next is we want to use the first network directory, the template that got set up for us, just as our hello world to make sure that Fabric can actually run. So we're going to look right here and you can see these are all the samples. We care about this first network folder right here. So we're going to look into it and we're going to cd into it in our terminal, change directory. And then we are going to run this command to generate the blockchain. So what this is going to do is you can read right here. We're going to create the certificates and keys for the entities that are going to exist in the blockchain. And we're going to create the genesis block, which is obviously the first block on the blockchain that everything else points to. And then it's going to do a few other setting up stuff. So we're going to paste this in. And this is actually going to be really quick, which, well, yes. And it's really that quick. I'm surprised at how quick that is. This next part is going to be a little long, a few minutes at least. So this is going to bring the actual network up. And these are just some scripts that actually got generated for us. So this, this byfn.sh is just a shell script that developers made to make this setup easy for us. And I'm going to pause the video because it's going to take a little bit of time. But when we come back, hopefully we see the word end because that means that Fabric is actually working. So let's pause and hopefully we get good results. Okay, so you can see that we have this magic all good BYFN execution complete end. So this means that our Fabric installation was good and our network went up. So actually, the first thing that we're going to do is bring it right back down to end this tutorial because we don't need it up. And this is the command to do it. But if you got this far and if you can do this yourself, then you have Fabric working. And that's all we needed to do. So you have Fabric installed. So let's do a little bit of a recap. Let's bring this back up. So Hyperledger Fabric is a blockchain resource where you can make your review on blockchain. We, saw, we talked about it a little bit. We set it up on our computer and we had all the requirements installed that I did a little bit off screen, but you can just copy and paste it yourself. And we deployed the test Fabric network. So we know that it works if, it, if we got this far. So now what? Well, I have uh, some bad news for you. You have a lot of homework to do. What we did was really just the tip of the iceberg. What you really need to do is you need to go to this official tutorial where we took all of those commands. From, well, not all of the commands, but we, we got the inspiration from. And you need to read through all of this 
to see how it works under the hood, to see what those scripts were doing, to see how all this works, you need to read all of this. So that that's the next thing you need to do after you do this. You need to read all of this. And then when you finish that, there are some other official tutorials. So it's not just building a network. You can see writing your first application, adding an org to a channel, all of this stuff you're going to need to do if you want to become a master. So with that said, we have our foundation set, but we can learn more about Fabric by building networks that suit our particular needs. Maybe we want to do some simple examples, like maybe we're running a doctor's office or maybe we're running fast food office, not an office, a restaurant. We can make blockchains to handle those situations. And then another thing that we want to do in a future video is we want to test deploying smart contracts onto the Fabric blockchain because that's really important. Wouldn't it be cool to actually write a Java smart contract instead of a Solidity one? That's kind of cool. And also, the last thing that I want to do, which is really cool to me, I want to learn about Hyperledger Composer, which is another Hyperledger project to actually build these fabric blockchains. So we're going to be doing that in future videos. I really recommend hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave comments telling me that you want to see this because that's how I know that you want to make it, that you want me to make these videos. Otherwise, I might do something else. So do subscribe and like and comment and in the future we'll be doing more videos this has been hyperledger fabric i'm source make thanks for watching